I'm Jay and welcome to The Gist. According to the Vatican, the Catholic Church is not allowed to bless same-sex unions because God does not and cannot bless sin. A decree by the Pope was issued following an official ruling from the Vatican's Orthodoxy Office, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, in response to a question about whether or not Catholic clergy can bless gay unions. They say Catholicism teaches that marriage is a lifelong union between a man and a woman with the purpose of creating new life. The decree has left LGBT Catholics across the world extremely confused. On one hand, the Vatican says gay people must be treated with dignity and respect and the church can continue to bless gay people as a whole. But on the other hand, the Vatican describes gay sex as intrinsically disordered. Fortunately, the Pope and his friends don't make the laws. If it's legal, go get married, boo. The Director of Communications at Pride in London, Ramel Affleck, has resigned. In an open letter on Medium.com, Ramel said, I've lost all confidence in the leadership's ability to successfully address the adversities faced by our multifaceted communities. The four minute read went on to discuss Pride in London's leadership and their insistence to ignore the voices of black LGBT people and the hypocrisy of their commitment to anti-racism in the wake of George Floyd's death. Affleck had been a volunteer with Pride in London for seven years and said he's become exasperated with calling on the organisation to take black humanity seriously. He resigned to prioritise his own mental health and well-being. Ramel is one of many black volunteers to leave Pride in London over the years, including Chloe Davis, who is now strategic officer at UK Black Pride. Stonewall, who previously cut ties with Pride in London in 2018 over similar racism issues, is now calling for the organisation's leadership to step down. As Ramel said, fighting racism isn't easy, but it's the right thing to do. Since its inception nearly 60 years ago, Sports Illustrated have never had a transgender woman of colour grace the pages of their swimsuit issue. Until now. Chicago native Lena Bloom, who identifies as Black and Filipino, said this moment is bigger than her wildest dreams. Bloom first broke barriers in 2017 by being the first openly transgender model at New York Fashion Week. And she was also the first transgender woman of colour to appear in Vogue India a couple months later. In 2018, Bloom told the Glamour magazine it's not just in the trans community, it's in my black community, it's in my Asian community. I am the product of deportation and immigration, so I am a product of many different things in our society that I have to use my voice to stand up for. Congratulations, Lena. Terms such as chairman and missus could soon become a thing of the past at South End Council after the cabinet in Southeast England voted to adopt gender neutral language. The suggestion was made by Labour councillor Helen MacDonald, who said that continuing to use gender specific language can be interpreted as biased, discriminatory or demeaning by implying that one sex or social gender is the norm. The council will remove all universal male terms from its policies and communications as well as end the use of language that suggests a person's marital status. Gender neutral language will also be used where an individual sex is not relevant or not known. Progress. I'm Jay Simpson and that's the gist this week. Thank you for watching.